this is day Z. Welcome to the first chapter of the new series, The Aftermath, on the Armour 2 Operation Howard mod, DayZ. It's free to download, the link to that will be in the description. Welcome guys, and I am in the map Chernerus, and we are actually in the city Chernerus, and f believe it or not, we have a chopper parked right there. It's not ours. Um, I've tried fixing it up. I do play a private hive at the moment. I am on a private hive. For people who are wondering what a private hive is, it's like a privately hired server for people to play and you can password protect it. The admins of the server do have a lot more power and that's why people tend to play private hives a lot more. And we're going to head up to my car. I have parked right up near the northwest airfield. So whilst running up north, I encountered this car here. This is a hatchback. I'm not too sure whether you can get these on the regular Daisy servers. However, this is a private hive and the admins do have a lot more power on the server. So, for example, they can... They can code in their own loot tables, but this hatchback here does have everything it needs, you know, to get up and running. I've got engine parts here, but I don't think it needs engine parts. All I think it needs is just wheels. So it turns out it looks does honestly look like somebody is been trying to repair this and has maybe logged out and um, is waiting. I don't know, maybe for the daytime. Maybe I don't really know. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna attach these four wheels here. You don't need a toolbox to attach the wheels, all you do is you just get the the wheel in your inventory here and then you just scroll around the car until you can actually find where it says here, repair wheel. Then just hit repair wheel and that should just do this animation here, repairing the wheel. And that will get us a brand spanking new car. I've checked in the gear, there's nothing really that, that decent in the gear, just it was just the wheels. So uh, that's quite lucky if you say me. So I think we're going to repair this car. going to go to my camp, which I have up north. And then I'm going to go to my other car, I have two cars now. Get some guns and we're going to go up to the northwest airfield. I don't think there'll be anybody there. But we'll soon see. So this car is pretty quick. It's called the Hatchback. It looks like a newish, newish, more modern car. Um, I'm not too sure whether it's the old Hatchback that's actually in the normal Daisy servers. But this, I think, I think, don't quote me on this, is a scripted in by the admin sort of thing, so it's in the loot table. I knew, I do know on the private hive, hive title there's more than 80 vehicles in the game, which is a lot better. So we're just gonna turn up here on our right and see if the vehicle's still there where we parked it. If not, that means some little bugger has taken it. Oh, and it's still there, you can see that little green thing right there. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go and check the gear in that, and then head back up to my old camp. One problem, I have now two cars and one person to drive them. So let's just get out here. If you get out, oops, if you get out and but if you eject, um, that'll leave the engine on. And if you just randomly get out, that'll turn the engine off as well. So it's a lot quicker. So jerry can and the water and an empty water bottle. Okay. Um, one big problem now. <laughs> I only have one person to drive, which isn't the best. Okay, so I think I'm probably going to take this old hatchback, I mean this hatchback, to the Northwest Airfield. It is a lot quieter and it is a lot faster as well. Um, so I'm going to actually eat some pasta now. And uh, I don't need a drink just yet. So I'm going to take this hatchback to camp. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to head to camp now and get some guns and... Um, I head down there to the airfield. Okay, we're just coming up to the northwest airfield now. 
as you can see these gates in front of us but if some of you are wondering why I left that chopper in the introduction there it was because it was all orange and we previously me and a friend were trying to fix it up before and we couldn't find anything and we asked a friend like you know well what happened is we had it all green but the hull part and we tried to fuel it the hull part was orange but we tried to fuel it just with the orange hull part and the friend was like yeah it's not going to fill up with fuel it might be bugged or it might be scripted in now when we, we put about 20 jerry cans in and nothing came up so we just left the chopper there and we shot it so like nobody else could have it so that's the reason why we left the chopper there if any of you are shouting at your screens now going mad because we left the chopper there that's the third one we've seen anyway on this server so I don't think they're too rare and I hopefully want to get some video footage of me actually flying the chopper and we could maybe have chopper battles and uh, that I think that that'd be that'd be a lot of fun that so we're just coming up to the northwest airfield my plan is my plan of action is to check the north barracks wait for some loot and wait for the loot to spawn and then check the south barracks I really don't want to bring too much attention to me but I doubt anybody is going to be here but the zombies I have no ammo for my weapons and it was kind of a stupid stupid idea of just coming here without any out any weapons and ammunition but I was hoping just to be quiet do like a stealth mission sort of thing and hopefully find some ammo in here that we can take back to camp and get sorted there the only problem I'm thinking of though is if I do run into somebody that I'm just gonna probably get out of here straight away in the car doesn't look like to be anybody here at all so let's just see you can always tell once the server's reset that this barracks here hasn't been looted and I'll tell you why in a second so let's just save the car so as you can see here the door is the doors not open now when a server resets the doors everything just closes and as you can see in here yep everything is still closed that means nobody has been here since the last server reset which is a good thing there might be still some decent loot here we've just got to wait for it to loot to loot i mean to spawn in because if some of you don't know that if you're in a vehicle and you drive past the city nothing will spawn no zombies not even loot so you've got to wait for a vehicle that's the only downside really about having a vehicle is that you've got to really wait for the loot to spawn once you're here so I'm just going to wait for that to spawn. So we're heading down to the south barracks and the northwest airfield. Turns out there's nothing actually spawning in there. Oh, we're down chopper. Oh, I didn't see that spawn there. We'll probably... We'll probably check that out just after these barracks here because the zombies are going to spawn and that is going to be... Pretty lethal there, so... I'm just going to save this and head to the south and barracks, which are just there. Hopefully nobody's been in these ones. Hopefully loot actually spawned in this one. I was waiting for like five minutes, but nothing actually did spawn, so... I'm kind of an impatient person when it comes to stuff like that. Okay, so... Okay, looks like loot hasn't spawned in here as well. Oh, tank truck kit. Pretty safe at this time of night. I don't think anybody's going to be in the northwest airfield at this late. The loot has spawned. That's a good thing. Just see what we've got here. A few DML mags will do. I'd say that was pretty useless. So let's head to that down chopper, and I think the server's going to restart. And I am correct. I've just gone back up to the north barracks here to check out the loot again, hence the server restart. And it's come to my advantage as there is another DMR which has spawned in there. So I'm going to pick that up, and now I have two DMRs. One will always come in handy in case I get killed and lose one I have another one spare in, in my camp can never get too many DMRs 
and the best thing is that you can use the DMRs with your night vision. I believe it's only the one of one of the sniper rifles you actually can use with night vision. So I'm going to go and recheck the south barracks and see what we find there. And we're back at camp, finally, after that useless trip to the northwest airfield. We didn't find any loot but a DMR. I was kind of hoping that something a bit better, maybe an M107. But, you know what guys, a DMR is good enough. And, uh, I think we'll call it an episode there guys. So, thank you for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please leave it a like and a comment. If you do want an episode 2 out, show that feedback, what you don't like, what you did like. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching, have a good day. Peace.